Hi, this is going to be an overview video of my Blender tutorials and I'm going to talk about how I'm going to structure my tutorials. Also, I'm going to do a little introduction of Blender, talk about basic concepts that you need to know before you start learning and working with this type of software. First thing about the tutorials, Again, just like in GIMP and Inkscape, I'm going to make a beginner's guide divided in episodes where you can learn the basics. Very detailed tutorials covering everything, aiming to take you from a complete beginner to somebody who knows his way around the software. Also, I'm going to make other tutorials on how to create something in particular. Let's say I'll show you how to model a keyboard, a cell phone, or any other object that you can think of but the goal of these tutorials is not so much to teach you how to create a keyboard or any other object like that but to give you ideas that you can put in practice in your own projects because there is no way that I can make enough tutorials and show you how to create every single object in the world right now if you look around you there are probably many objects and every single one of them can be recreated here so it's not the point that you watch tutorial how to do every single one of them but to get ideas and to look at the object and say I'm gonna do this like this or like that figuring out things on your own and when that happens you no longer will need tutorials now a few words about blender it's a free open source software you can download it for free like I said from the blender.org official website also you can uh, donate if you can. Like I said in the previous video, professional 3D animation software costs thousands of dollars and this one comes to us for free. So if you can, you can donate a little if you want to. Open source means that you can modify this software. Of course, you have to know how to program to do that. Also, you can join and uh, help develop it and make it better. And of course, you can use it to create 3D animation but that 3D animation has many different directions. Some people use it for exterior, interior design. Some people use it to develop games. Others use it to make effects for movies, to create animated characters or objects. Big part of movies like Avatar are created in this type of software. Of course, it, I'm guessing it took hundreds, even thousands of people to do that. And a professional 3D animation software, but in this type of software, this is where the magic happens, this is where you can recreate the surrounding world or create an imaginary one. Now, before we start with the tutorials, I want to tell you a few basic things that you need to know. For example, every time we start to create something, we need a starting point. And you see that by default, we have this cube here. And now, this cube we can try to turn in, in anything we want. But it's a good idea when you're creating something to get the best starting point. And for example, this one will be good for creating, let's say, a square tabletop or a refrigerator or a microwave, of course, depending on exactly uh, what you want to do. But let's say you want to create a silver ring. It will be better if you start with a circle or a cylinder. So depending on what you want to create, you might want to start with something that will get you there faster. Now let's zoom in the cube and see what it's made of. Let's go to the edit mode and here we can see that this cube is made of vertices, edges and faces. And we can select them, we can manipulate them using the 3D manipulator widget and many other options which I'm going to talk about a lot in the upcoming tutorials but for now I just want you to remember that these are the basic tools that we're going to use to sculpt our objects and turn them into the desired shape and after that comes the time to apply a material just like in the real world where every object is made of different material here we are going to make that material and then apply to the object and that material will have different qualities how it reflects the light, how it reflects the environment or if we don't have an environment we can fake that. Textures, colors, glossiness and many more qualities that the material can have. And once we've done that, we usually need to set up lights. 
of course most of the time the light needs to be set up before you start applying or along with the applying of the material because you need to make test renders to see the results set up a camera to take a picture or to shoot an animation if you have one so that's it in simple words what we are going to do here and the next video will actually be a tutorial and we'll get to learn how to navigate around here how to zoom in out how to get to the places that we want to get because this is a 3d software navigation is a lot more complicated it's not just zooming in and out moving up and down or left and right there is a lot more to it so that's it for this overview introductional video on my tutorials on blender and uh, i hope you subscribe watch my tutorials that's it bye for now